for you. You ever thought about uh, getting a fedora, dress hat kind of thing, and you thought about what kind of brim is appropriate for me? Um, brim sizes put out different images, and they're going to put out different looks, different types of looks, and people are going to associate those looks with things like, um, you know, like a big brimmed fedora like this, in brown with the back down is Indiana Jones. Now the same exact hat in black, people are gonna call me a rabbi. Um, and the same exact hat in gray with a black band, they'll say, oh, Humphrey Bogart, you know, some kind of detective or gangster or, or a reporter from the 1930s. Um, that looks like a vintage, an old time look. So you know, just the color can make a certain shape look completely different. Um, people have stereotypes. Um, affixed to these different styles. When they see a dress hat with a wide brim, instantly if it's black, they think it's a religious Jewish hat or a preacher maybe, preacher or rabbi kind of a look or, you know. Um, a really big white hat, they think Cuban or Panama or, uh, I don't know, something like that, you know, Cuban hat, Ecuadorian Panama hats. It's a, uh, like a stereotype affixed to these particular looks. So, you know, these are things that I guess you have to um, cater to, or, you know, you have to think about it, and you, you could just tell yourself, ah, I don't give a crap, or whatever. But the truth is that people are gonna, you know, have their, their ideas about what you're wearing, you know, and it doesn't really matter to you, it doesn't matter to me, and this and that, but, um, you know, maybe it, it might, help make your choice, you know. You don't want everybody to think you're a rabbi, or like everybody to think that you're this or that, you know, if you're not. Um, so, um, the idea is basically, you know, don't get the wrong style if that's going to bother you. You know, if you're going to wear a really big western hat curled up on the sides, and you're walking down, you know, 2nd Avenue uh, in the city, um, people might say, hey, partner, where's your horse? And start making fun of you. Um, depending on what you look like, you know, if you're, you're a big enough dude, people are probably not going to mess with you, you know. But um, you wear that same Texas hat down in Texas and you're just, you know, some dude just wearing like a baseball cap or whatever. It's just the local style, you know. Um, even the, the 7-Eleven has cowboy hats, or the, you know, the local uh, supermarket might even have a couple there for tourists or something. So the idea um, is, yeah, you know, be aware of these things, although you don't have to be a slave to them, I guess, you know. Now, um, two-inch brim is a really interesting brim. The two inches kind of like, it's not a full-size dress hat. It's not a shrimpy, teeny, tiny little hat. Um, for me, it's kind of relative because I've got this bushy hair. I'm trying to make it look a little smaller in the pictures here. But um, for me, when I think two-inch brim, I have a couple of different looks. I have this kind of Bronx tail kind of thing, cool vintage hat. You wear up. It's small. It's not as big as wearing like a full size. Like my green hat up is a big, flashy kind of a look to me. You know, this is more laid back. It's a small hat. It's kind of like more laid back. Um, the two inch brim is Sinatra, when you bring it down to me, it's, it has a little attitude because it's dressy, yet it's a little bit of like, you know, a little tough, you know, it's got some laid back attitude in a dressy way, very dressy, you know, with like cool big shoulders and you know, a skinny tie, that's, that's just style. Um, the way I have it slanted like this, that's the Sinatra thing. Um, it works pretty much with a two inch brim and that's it. When you go to a one and a half or one and three quarters, it's kind of a different thing. It looks more modern or more clean cut, like a very British trilby kind of a, 
I don't know, neater, I don't know, like the Asher or the Inwood or something. It looks different. So the two inch brim, I flip it up and it's the Blues Brothers or a Bronx tail, you know, like that cool kind of, I got a vintage hat, but it's, you know, it's just an old hat. I don't really care about it that much, you know, it's just me, you know. It's like just kind of tough, you know. But at the same time, it's not stupid. You're not overdoing it. You're not going too small. You're not going too big. It's a good medium size. It's got authenticity. It's authentic. A lot of people tend to go for the biggest brim or the shortest brim. This is a medium brim, which people overlook. But most people in the old days wore this. That's what they wore, short brims. The bigger brims were for like gangsters and hoods and hippies and things like that, you know? So, um, I'm going to say go with the shorter brim if you're looking for authenticity. You want it to look dressy, yet a little attitude in a cool way. Not in a teenagery way or a, uh, I'm putting on a uh, fashion show way. Just very subtle. It's a modern hat with an old time kind of a cool coolness to it. Just look at pictures of Sinatra. That's all you got to look at. Two inch brim. Uh, you could do this with a high crown, with a low crown, with a, with a diamond, with a pork pie, with a center crease is my favorite. Any crown works, uh, from a pork pie up to a diamond to a teardrop, center crease, a high center crease. Two inch brim works with them all. Might depend on your height. If you're short, don't get a high crown. Get a shorter crown. Look at the balance between the shape, your face and the crown. There should be a nice composition there, like a painting. This should be bigger than that. I don't know, maybe this is like two-thirds of the, the head, this shape, and this is like half of the head or something. It's a little less, you know, but it's, um, it looks good together. If you're looking at these two shapes and they don't look together, good together, you can just lower the crown in the front. What you do is you lower it right here, make a slant. I already did it, actually. So there it is at its full height. You want to lower it just kind of like bring it down subtly. So just the front, lower the crown. All right, two inch brim. It's a great brim. Don't overlook it. The two and two and um, two and a half or two and three eighths inch brim is kind of what I wear a lot. This is a, like a two and a half. Two and three eighths is kind of my favorite. It's a little bit less than this. It's like my green hat that I wear all the time. To me, with my bushy hair, this looks, I don't know, comfortable on me. It's like my hair isn't sticking out of the sides, kind of like um, Bozo the Clown or Krusty the Clown or something. It's, uh, this is a good hat for when I have my long hair. This I wear when I have a little bit shorter hair. The idea is to try different brims, see how they look see how you feel on them. It's all about how you feel. Most of it is taste. That's what it goes, what it comes down to. You gotta buy what you're comfortable with. The whole room is saying, you look really cool in that little Sinatra hat, and you're like, no way, I would never wear that. I'm a big brim guy, I like to hide behind my big brim a little bit. You gotta get what you're comfortable with, what you feel good in, because the better you feel in it, you're gonna stand taller, and you can you know, walk and own that thing, you know? Give it a good angle, you know? walk into the room like, yo, that's me, you know? Um, if you're trying something new, trying to get out of your comfort zone and it doesn't look right on you, you look like a bum in it, you know? Forget it. Go with the brim size you like. That's what it all comes down to. There are no rules to this. Um, the rules are try it, see what you like, and see what sounds, what looks good to you. I mean, it's the same thing with my, my pedal board. They say, what is the order to put my different pedals in? Try it, see what sounds good. If it sounds crappy, change it. Um, there are no rules, that's what I'm saying. So if you're a big fat guy, you want a little tiny hat, try it. You know, it might suck, but try it anyway. Um, if you're a little tiny guy and you want a really big hat, <clears throat> you can probably get away with some big brim, you know. I would say watch the high crowns, though. keep the crowns low to balance it out if you're very short. You can't do both, big brim and high crown. So, yeah. All right. I'm here to play you out because I think my son wants to play with me. I just got a really cool toy. I... Excuse me. A very cool uh, LOL doll 
camper thing that he's really into. It's like this ultimate dollhouse and it has like a light up swimming pool with like rare water in it and flashing disco lights. It's pretty decadent actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 